There are a lot of great men and women in the patriot movement who, A, do not understand that there is a conspiracy at all. They think that these events are all spontaneous and unrelated. They do not recognize a design behind the events at all. I would venture to say the vast, vast majority of the people in our country and the people in our churches are totally ignorant of any sort of conspiracy. They don't understand it. And whenever someone begins to talk about it, they're immediately poo-hooed as uh, conspiracy nuts and things of that nature. Now that we know Vice President Dick Cheney and Senator Barack Obama are distant cousins. Check out this family tree, done with research by Ancestry.com. Let me take you through this, branch by branch. Vice President Dick Cheney, the man who's only a heartbeat away from the presidency, is actually a blood relation. He's President Bush's ninth cousin once removed. Cheney's cousin Barack Obama is also Bush's 11th cousin. President Lincoln was President Bush's seventh cousin five times removed. And Bush shared more than just a ballot with John Kerry. That's right, their ninth cousins twice removed. You were both in Skull and Bone, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? You both were members of Skull and Bones, a secret society at Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> It's called the Hegelian dialectic. We want all these people to do something. So you and I are going to get together. We're going to create two different causes. We're going to get all these people wrapped up in it. We're going to pretend to fight against each other. And this fight is going to bring about the conclusion that we really wanted in the first place. And they're all going to think that it was done accidentally by them. And we didn't have anything to do with it. How many of you understand the concept of Hegelian dialectic of manipulation of political resolutions? Mm -hmm. If you don't, you'd better read Hegel and you'd better study it because that's what's happening. But if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception. There has never been anything like it. He said okay, what? what? What about what Clinton's done? Groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will? And rape. In an interview with Sean Hannity last night, Donald Trump said former President Bill Clinton is a rapist. Because I was very honored, very, very honored, when I heard that President Bill Clinton and Secretary Hillary Clinton was coming today. And I think it's appropriate to say, and I'd like you to stand up. I'd like you to stand up. And honestly, there's nothing more I can say because I have a lot of respect for those two people. What you're saying is that no matter what the political leanings, they seem to be playing the same game. As long as you're playing their game, it doesn't matter who you vote for, who, who you put in office, they all belong to the other side. They're in the pockets of the Illuminati.